guys, it's Ryan with Man's Defense. I've got something new I wanted to share with you today. If you guys remember, I had my Salient Arms International Grey Rifle, and I finally put it up for sale. As much as I love that rifle, it just wasn't getting enough use. So, my rule is, anything that I sell or any parts that I sell, all that money goes back into firearms. So, whether it's buying a new project or it's revamping an old project. So, I sold the Grey Rifle to a new, uh, to a new owner, and I'm hoping that he's going to take care of it and uh, shoot it more than I did. But, uh, I was on the hunt for something 9mm. I talked about doing the quarter circle 10 um, uh, MP5 lower for a while and some other projects like that, but I decided I was going to keep waiting and I finally found something I really wanted. It took me a little while to decide on this, but I finally went out of my way to find one. It is a Swiss made firearm, it's closed bolt low back, and it weighs about 5 pounds and I think 8 ounces or so. So I went out of my way and I found myself a BNT KH9. Only 400 of these were imported into the US, they feature a magazine adapter, a decocker on the firearm, so it shoots in double action, single action with no external safety, and just got a great, clean, little look to it. So, what I need you guys to help me on is deciding what I'm going to put on the back of this. So, I decided that I'm not going to do an SBR on this, I'm going to keep it as a pistol. I've already decided on an optic, which is an Aimpoint Micro H1 on a little room mount. So, we've already got that guy set up. And then for a flashlight, I was thinking maybe a Surefire, but I think it might be kind of too hard to get on here. So I've decided just to go with one of my enforcers that I had laying around. So, we've got ourselves a little blaster started, right? But now what we have to decide is the AFG, which AFG should I be running? And then do I want to go with a telescopic or do I want to go with a side folder? What I'm going to be doing is buying the adapters that run the tail hooks on them. So I need you guys to leave me a comment somewhere and let me know what you guys think I should be running on this thing. So what's cool about this BNT KH9, it has these fold down iron sights, which actually operate as pistol sights, just like the MP7 would. So when they're down, you can actually see that they're a pistol sight, but when you flip them up, they go into your standard peep sight. Uh, what's interesting though is with this LaRue mount that I went with, uh, I wanted to go with a low mount, but sure enough, you can actually still see the rear sight and the front sight here. Um, if you remove the magazine adapter, you can actually run Suomi uh, 50 round coffin mags, and I believe there are some drum mags that you can get. You might have to do a little more work, but apparently they will fit on here as well. The double action on this thing is pretty heavy. It feels uh, like 12 pounds, if not more, but the single action feels great. Uh, we took it out of the box. I only shot 50 rounds through it just to see how it felt. Dude, this thing is sweet. I would highly recommend it. I know I'm late to the party since these came back out, I believe, last year, um, but if you look at any of the BNT line, the only BNTs that they uh, imported are in pistol variants. So whether you're looking at the GHM9s, the APCs, um, the USWs, anything like that, they're all brought over as their pistol version. Uh, these, <clears throat> so the BNT KH9 retails for $2250. Not too steep of a price tag, but not unexpected either to be in that price range. They offer a GHM9, which comes in at a price point below it, um, and they're already doing variants on their APCs, like the APC Pro. Um, what's cool about this too is that it takes the HK tri lug so if you have a 9mm can, I believe you're supposed to run there specifically that they advertise to fit inside of the shroud. <coughs> um, it's a top cocker, so it's fully ambidextrous, uh, ambidextrous magazine release on both sides, decocker on both sides, uh, takedown is fairly simple, and uh, maintenance overall should be pretty easy. The only thing I'm concerned about is maybe finding the spare parts for this to do any sort of maintenance work. That might be the difficult part for this gun. The gun has an overall length of 13 inches with a barrel length of 6 inches. It's cold hammer forged with a 1 in 10 twist. It weighs 5 pounds, 1.8 ounces, has flip up sights, and it has some styling designs that reminisce of like old Spectres and such. Alright, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed this short video on the BNT KH9. Uh, we should see where this project goes. It's kind of a cool little gun. It's a little bit different than something I would normally do, but I'm really excited to see what happens with this. Thank you guys for tuning in. Stay safe and shoot straight.